California was a real leader in setting down a public commitment to accomplishing its 30 by 30 conservation objectives. What does that mean? That means 30% of the land and water of California conserved by the year 2030. Here at Turning Point Preserve, we're contributing a thousand acres to the library of, con of conserved lands and waters here in California. The bottom line is the Sacramento River is a very small, narrow channel and the Sacramento flood control system has a lot of offline to offload the water outside of the main stem during high flows. And this project does just that. When flows come up, it'll allow an inundation of up to the thousand acres of land, and that will reduce the water stage downstream and upstream and lower the flood risk for those communities um, up and down. We were really fortunate in the case of Turning Point Preserve that the Department of Water Resources could see and, and articulate the value of multiple layers of public benefit here. It's flood risk reduction for the downstream community and a vulnerable community, an underserved community, but it also have the benefits of ecosystem, uh, recreation, and groundwater. So what we do when we give the river a little bit more space, and at Turning Point Preserve, we'll actually be breaching berms and letting the river spread out over a larger hundreds of acres of its historic floodplain. What we're doing is we're giving those floodwaters a larger space to spread out so the water surface elevation actually goes down during peaks of flood events. But when that water spreads out across the landscape, it also sinks down into the ground. This is the type of innovative project that we need to get behind. These are the type of holistic solutions and projects that are, are the future. Putting together the pieces of a large-scale floodplain restoration project and a multi-benefit project takes a lot of time and energy because you've got a lot of folks who have to bring an individual authority or program into alignment with another one, right, to really bring together the resources to make a big project like this happen. There's a lot of collaboration, coordination, and timing of funding to deliver these great multi-benefit projects, and it happened here and hopefully it could happen on more of these projects in the future.